<clears throat> All right, what is going on, fellers? I have not done a video in a long ass time, not like this anyway. Sorry, I'm just getting busier and busier. I think that's my life. Um, so what are you gonna do? Uh, anyway, some stuff to talk about. And before I start, as usual, I might get a few things wrong. Whatever. Don't care that much. Um, I'm trying my best. If I'm wrong, I apologize. If I offend, I apologize. Unless you're a dickhead. <laughs> but, you know. Anywho. Yeah, guys, check it out. This guitar looks kind of stupid. And uh, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I uh, found these uh, vinyl chromes, um, sticky adhesive thingies that you could cut shapes out of. And I was like, oh, that would be cool if it was covered in like purple stars. And uh, I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. But speaking of feeling, one of the reasons I'm not feeling it is you can feel it. You can feel the fucking pointy stars. They kind of jab you. It's not the most comfortable thing ever. It's kind of distracting and weird. I don't think I'm going to dig it. So I'm going to rip these stupid stickers off. And I'm going to sand this body down and stain it purple and then coat it with nitrocellulose. So it's purple. So hopefully that works out. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, yeah, and check out this badass controller. I got Blue Chameleon. Look at that. Three, uh, 360. I almost called it a 360 controller because that's how much I love Xbox Original and Xbox 360 and how much I don't really give a fuck about Xbox One or the Series X because as far as I'm concerned, Xbox basically fucking died once those consoles came about. Yeah. Sorry. 2013 ripped the Xbox brand. That's basically how I feel. But not everything is completely fucked. And they still make a decent enough controller, although it's not perfect either, but whatever. Uh, at least it has decent back paddles, at least the ones that I've been using. I don't know, I've heard a lot of horror stories that uh, these controllers fall apart on you soon, or they come broken or something like that. I don't know. I think it's pretty hit or miss, depending on your luck. And I think a lot of people, they just play way too much cock duty man. And they're fucking jabbing down on this analog as aggressively as possible, you know. To sprint in a game that shouldn't have... Shooting games really shouldn't have sprint. At least not in the competitive settings. I don't understand that shit. I really don't think it makes the game better. I think it ultimately makes the game worse. Uh... At least in Halo, I don't know, COD's a bit diff. Uh, who gives a shit? I don't, I don't want to have this conversation. <laughs> so anyway, uh, but yeah, uh, this controller's not bad. And the Brook adapter that lets you play it on Switch and PS4 is pretty kick-ass. So I really dig that. Unfortunately, it does not work for PS5. Maybe they'll invent a model that does soon enough. Uh, we'll see. But... You don't really need to get into PS5, in my opinion. I don't think it's really worth getting, honestly. It's like a slight upgrade over the PS4, honestly. And I, I have a PS4 Pro that I recently upgraded with a SSD drive. Four fucking terabyte? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Kind of expensive. And kind of ridiculous. But honestly, if you play Souls games like I do, it's kind of handy because... There's a lot of load times in those games. You die a lot, you go to a new area a lot, you fast travel a lot. And load times can be like 10, 15 seconds long, but with this fucking SSD, they're like six seconds long. Four or six seconds long. Like, after a while, you start to appreciate it, and uh, yeah, I think, it, I think getting one of these SSDs is worth it. I was thinking about getting a fucking uh, badass gaming PC eventually, and... I don't know, play some Halo Reach MCC? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I heard Halo Reach MCC is both good and bad. I heard it runs a lot smoother, looks a lot better. Well, not a lot, but, you know, better. 
but I heard it's a little more noob friendly because of that, and uh, they have a few glitches they never fucking bothered to fix, and uh, I don't know. I, I just don't know. But I do want to get a new computer soon, so that's why I was bringing it up. It's not like I'm, you know, coming back into the good graces of 343. Oh, oh, they've changed. Oh, they're, they're so much better than they were. No, that's not what this is. Fuck them. 343 suck dick. I'm just trying to get the best out of a shit situation is all. Anyway, yeah. So yeah, that Halo show. Good old Halo show. The Halo show. Halo show. Halo show. Halo show. With John Halo, starring our hero, John Halo. And, uh, yeah, I, I uh, like this show, and I also don't like the show. It's weird. I think it's too boring. I think there needs to be a healthy mix of action and story, action, story, action, story, you know? Like, hit us up, back and forth, back and forth. Keep us on our toes, you know? Keep our attention. But... Nah, honestly, there was some cool action in the very first episode. About half of that episode was cool. Then it kind of got boring towards the end. And then there were like three or four episodes that were mostly boring and kind of fucking hilarious, actually. Chief starts like running around like a human being. What? I have feelings and emotions and, and I'm a human being? And what's this? What's this? <gasps> Ice cream, puppies, music. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking, fucking ridiculous made me laugh uh, but uh yeah I, I dig the show enough i guess and then chief has hair but cortana's bald what the fuck and then they take bald cortana and make her into a robot and she's now digital or something and she exists i guess and she's in chief's head and he doesn't like her <laughs> it's fucking weird and goofy i don't know i dig it fine enough but it is kind of boring when it's not making you laugh and when there's no action. And there's hardly any action in this motherfucker, unfortunately. Like, I don't know. There's not... It, it, it's not as much as I want, you know? I don't know. I, as, as, a, as a Halo fanboy whose ha favorite Halo game is Halo Reach, where you got to see, like, the most Halo epic fucking carnage action going on. Tanks everywhere, jets everywhere, explosions everywhere. It's just all out Halo chaos, you know? Like... That's what I kind of want to see, and I didn't really get that in this show so far. And Recently, we got an action-packed episode, but it was kind of bare-bones compared to what you would see in Halo Reach, but whatever. I, I It was something, and I thought it was kind of fucking hilarious, honestly. <laughs> like, the poor little grunts, they get shit on in this. Uh, uh, yeah, it's extremely violent and gory, which is pretty crazy, and I like to see it. Uh, they showed off, like, a jackal running around with a little energy dagger sword thing of his, and he was actually fucking some shit up. He killed, like, I don't know, three or four or five marines before they took him down? I don't know. That shit was nuts. So I liked that. And then uh, Chief tries to, like, hijack a banshee, and that looked kind of weird, and he didn't know what he was doing. It was kind of funny. And, and then, like, he has to save his Spartan friend who's in trouble, and like, there's an action scene where he pops a few with a pistol and throws his pistol at a grunt's head. <laughs> and then he gets a hold of a shotgun and goes to town. And it was kind of cool looking, but yeah, that's about it. And then he, like, he loses his shit on this random ass elite who's like punching his uh, Spartan buddy on the ground for some reason. Why is he just tormenting her? <laughs> like, oh, I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> you're on the ground and you're hurt and you can't move. I'm gonna, like, kick you and punch your arm. <laughs> What's this elite doing? <laughs> anyway. And then Chief runs up on him and massacres the dude. Like, just punches this elite's face into, into bone dust. And then curb stomps his head at the end of it, crushing his head. Smashing it completely. Like, there's no head. He's gone. <laughs> like, jeez, Chief, take it easy, bro. <laughs> like, shit's wild. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I dig it, and I also don't dig it. It's a little too boring. Uh, I'm glad they're changing things up from the 343 Halo storylines, because 343 can't write for shit. I give their writing, like, a 2 or a 3 out of 10. I give the writing in this show at least a 5, you know? So, yeah, it's it's all right, you know? It, it, 
I mean, if you're honestly the kind of Halo fan who wants it to be just like the games, just like the Bungie Halo games, yeah, you'll be disappointed. If you want it to be like the 343 Halo games, I don't know why you would, but if that's you, you're going to be disappointed. But if you're hoping for something kind of fresh like I am, you'll be a little pleased, but it's still not the greatest. But whatever, I'm digging some of the actors. Their, their performance are good. The guy who plays Chief, Pablo. Yes, his name is Pablo. Yes, that is not exactly a white boy name like all you alt-right cunts out there wish he was. Yes, Master Chief doesn't have to be white, you racist cocksuckers. Anyway, uh, yeah, he does a good job. Uh, Captain Keys, who's black now, he does a good job. Uh, Miranda Keys, who is black now, she does a good job. Um, Spartan Dave Chappelle, I love that guy. He's great. So yeah, racists, deal with it. You guys are fucking losers. Trump lost the election. Nazis lost World War II. What 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 else do you you assholes need me to, for, to fucking say? I mean, like you're fucking losers. Nobody cares about you. Go uh, kill yourselves. Die mad. <laughs> what else is there to say? Yeah. At the end of the day, that's what's up. Anyways, sorry. I like to talk shit about the fucking uh, wor most worthless people on the planet. You know. Like, say what you will about me, I consider myself a worthless nerd who just collects guitars and plays video games all day, sure. But, uh, you know, I'm still way better than a fucking alt-right bootlicking fucking Q-sucking fucking piece of shit. Jesus Christ, these, these people are fucking wacky. Like, I thought I was weird, but... No. No, I'm not that fucking weird. I'm not about to ingest horse paste, you know what I mean? <laughs> Like, yeah, whatever. Anyway, uh, so yeah, um, that's how I feel about the Halo show. And uh, then there's Elden Cringe, Elder Ring, the Elderberries, John Elden Ring, and his adventures through Elden Land. Yeah, uh, I'm getting kind of tired of that game. I haven't played it in a few days. Yeah, to sum up, uh, I loved the game at first. It was everything I wanted, a Souls-like game, but in this big Elder Scrolls kind of feeling world, this Breath of the Wild kind of feeling world. You know, so I dug it a ton at first, but then I started to notice the copy and paste bullshit in the game. Oh, there's that gray dragon I fought for the millionth time. Oh, there's that pumpkin head guy I fought for the millionth time. Oh, there's that uh, red dog I fought for the millionth time. There's that, you know what I mean? Like, you can tell. And then there's dungeon areas in the game, and a lot of them have copy and paste environments, and yeah, that was lame. Uh, as usual, 90% of the gear you find in the game is absolute trash, useless dog shit. You might as well not use it. If you're using it, it means you're a scrub, basically. <laughs> it's like that. Uh, but yeah, uh, it was hard at first, but then you, like all the other Souls-type games, if you learn the weaknesses of your enemies and get good at the button timing and memorize the environments, then you're like a fucking master and you're basically beating the game without dying or you beat the game only dying maybe five or ten times tops. Like, that's where I am right now. I'm not so good that I can beat it without dying, period. I don't feel that confident, but yeah, I can beat Elden Ring in like uh, five deaths, three to five deaths tops, somewhere around there. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a cool game. It's, it's pretty good, but... I'm really torn on it, like, half and half, kind of, like, love the art style, uh, I love the replay value, I love the challenge, of course, the FromSoft games always offer a rewarding, challenging experience, um, music's good, and, uh, what, what was the other thing? I'm spacing out here, it, it was something, I can't remember. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the things I dislike are, you know, it's a, it's basically an online, uh, experience that's, th there's no local area network, no, no, no playing the game with your friend through local area network, nope, fuck you, you have to pay for Xbox Live or PlayStation Live or whatever the fuck. Well, if you have it on PC, I guess you don't have to pay an online fee, so PC users have the best version of the game, and they also got some fucking crazy sick mods that that are really good apparently they have this one mod that's always getting better and it's a mod that allows you to play the game cooperatively like with a friend from start to finish something that i wish the souls games actually had what is this fucking 
we can only co-op in certain areas at certain times. Bullshit. What is this shit? What what the fuck ever happened to player two? Ready? Okay, let's play. What what the fuck ever happened to that? What is all this fucking bullshit? You know, just to play the goddamn game with your fucking friend. You know, like fuck these games in that regard. They suck dick in that regard. They suck so much fucking dick in that regard that I consider them single player only games. But with this mod on PC, uh, I might be singing a different tune once I get a, a better computer and uh, yeah. Uh, get the game again on PC, but with mods and weird shit. And that's probably not going to happen for a year, so I'll probably get the game dirt cheap by then. Fingers crossed. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I won't even do it. Maybe I don't care that much. Because uh, I, don't, I don't know hardly anybody who wants to play this game with me very much anyway, so... We'll see. Like, my bro always plays, like, Halo and strategy games with me. You know, like... He doesn't really care for the soulsy bornsies. Anyways. But yeah, Elden Cringe. Uh, not, a, not a terrible game. Not a great game either, though. Like, fucking... The co-op co PvP elements are trash. Uh, it was clearly a very unfinished game when it comes to balance. They're constantly updating and changing things around massively, mind you. Not just little things. Like, they made the Sword of Night and Flame. You know, the Jizz Blade. I love the jizz blade, dude. It just showers my enemies in jizz. It's all I use. I just jizz on everything. Um, it's fucking great. Uh, but yeah, new pa patch updates have made it go dog shit, apparently. So that fucking sucks. I don't want to fucking deal with that shit, dude. Fuck that. Uh, so I'm not going to download these new patches. They can lick my bunghole. Uh, yeah, they made the, the Horfrost Stomp. The Horfrost. I don't know what why it's called whore frost does that does that mean something i'm a dumbass i don't know what that means it just sounds like whore what's with all the sexual stuff in this game anyway uh whore frost stomp is trash now apparently well maybe not trash necessarily but they made it worse apparently in the new updates they made uh this uh skill that like like you slash your own hand and you throw blood on your enemy or whatever that skill was like super badass and powerful it could stagger really tough enemies and shit well guess what they nerfed that too so the game just got shittier with the patches i guess so that sounds fucking dumb kind of makes me not want to get the dlc or anything moving forward with elden cringe so that blows um, what else sucks about the game? Uh, you know, there's really long, boring parts in the game. Oh, run across this giant, empty stretch of land. Yay. Oh, fucking, here's an elevator. It'll only take a fucking minute to get through the goddamn elevator. Oh, here's a long ladder. Climb, bitch. Climb. <laughs> Climb, you fucking hole. Oh, my God. Uh, anyway. So, yeah. Parts like about the game like that fucking suck. And then there's a little things that are annoying, like sometimes you'll you'll collect so many bolts that you'll have max bolts, and then you'll be in combat and you'll see an item on the ground and you'll try to run over and grab it real quick, but it's maximum bolts, bitch. You can't carry any more bolts. Fuck you, we're gonna put this big thing in the way of your screen so you can't see very good, and you also have to press a button that you're not used to pushing whenever something like this happens, and you're in a combat zone, and you're kind of fucking distracted, and you're not paying attention, and you don't know how to make this menu go away very quickly, so you're fucking pushing every button, and before you know it, you got killed. That has happened to me once or twice. Admit it, assholes, it's happened to y'all too who play this game. Like, so that's fucking stupid. The system shouldn't be designed that way. They should... I don't know. Uh, but that's just a little thing. I'm getting carried away here. Um, yeah, the story is trash. There's basically no story. It's just vague tidbits of made-up jargon. Some guy on shrooms in the studio or whatever was saying a bunch of random shit. Some guy wrote it down and cobbled it all together. And they Picasso the shit, as usual. Like in all uh, FromSoft, Soulsyborn games. Except for Sekiro. Sekiro has a decent enough storyline. Um, it's not nearly as vague and ridiculous. Like, honestly, these, uh, Darky Souls and Elder Ring Souls type games, it's, honestly, dudes, it's just, it's just something, something, dragon, something, something, magic, bam, there you go, there's the Soulsy game storyline, bleh. <laughs> like, there's not much to it, man. So, the story is kind of weak. 
Um, yeah, George R. R. Martin doesn't even know what the fucking story is. It's a sequel to Dark Souls! Uh, no, it's not, asshole. <laughs> like, oh. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> fucking, oh my goodness. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, but if you want to give Elder Cringe a try, I, I, I recommend it. Why not, you know? Maybe you can get it, uh, cheaper or whatever. Or cheap enough. I don't know when a discount for it shows up, but whatever, whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, gaming is getting worse. Uh, Gavin Newsom, that snake, he, uh, apparently is helping Blizzard get out of their fucking bullshit, their corrupt, rapey behavior. So, yeah. Isn't that nice? Way to go, Democrats! Maybe we should have got that black Nazi in there instead. No, I'm just kidding. That would have been worse. That guy... <laughs> wow. You don't want to get a self-hating black Republican in, in massive power of, of California. You don't want that. Yeah, the guy they have right now is an American psycho look-alike, and he fucking sucks. Corporate shill, full of shit, all that and everything. Yeah, that blows, but the other guy was all those things, too. Corporate shill and a complete bootlicker for authoritarian crazy shit, you know? You don't want any of that, trust me. So, yeah. Anyways, so, yeah, that's shitty. Um... Breath of the Wild 2 and Metroid Prime 4, what the fuck? Give us a goddamn super trailer already, right? Tired of waiting. Um, man, my PS4 is still downloading shit, dude. I've had my PS4 offline for like a month. I just hooked it to the internet and it's downloading like updates that take like... I guess it's two hours now? It's been fucking two hours? Good God, whatever happened to gaming where it's like, console, switch, turn it on, now I'm playing game, that's it. Now it's a fucking, uh, streaming device. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, the Hogwarts movie, uh, what's it called, Hogwarts the movie, or whatever, the J.K. Rowling transphobe bitch, that fucking stupid cunt. Yeah, uh, her fucking movie is trash and no one's seeing it. Nobody likes it. It's not very popular. Good. Fuck you, you transphobic piece of shit. I hope you fucking die. Um, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, the Morbius movie. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, Jared Leto. Yeah, that movie's apparently shit and also very unpopular. So yeah, don't go see that one either. <laughs> uh, I saw the Batman, the Batman movie. It was okay. It wasn't that good. Yeah, I give it like a six or a five. Way better than the trash that we got with Ass Man v Stupid Man and uh, Ass League. That was just awful. Ben Affleck, you are a complete sack of shit. You're useless. Go away forever. But uh, this new uh, Batman, I think the writing was kind of shit, and I think they had a lot of problems, and I think it was kind of overly long, and I think the way they made the movie would have worked better for a TV show. Uh, the ending was fucking stupid as fuck. It turns into a flood fucking crisis movie. Uh, I, I didn't care for it very much, honestly. Yeah, I give it a 4 out of 10. I changed my mind. Yeah, it's not very good. I give uh, a a BVS like a 1 or a 2, and that's like the worst superhero movie ever made. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, this was not as good as the Nolan stuff, but whatever. I'm just glad it's better than, you know that shit that we got from the Snyder cuck. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, yeah, um, that Moon Knight sh show is okay. Moon Knight's alright. Check that show out. There was a hippo. That was fucking weird. Um, yeah, check out the guitar. I'm gonna change things up. Pretty badass. Gonna change things up. I'm gonna have an all hollow flake strat should be pretty baller hopefully it works out good um yeah i've been busy with work guys i'm sorry about that fucking just no time for shit um the garden is also going off i'll do a video showing that off things are really popping i'm gonna have endless tomatoes and cucumbers i know it it's gonna be nuts um 
Yeah. No time for shit, but what are you going to do? Anyways, yeah, hang in there, folks. That's all I can say. Um, things are slowly getting better in some ways. Mostly getting worse, I'd argue, though. Jesus Christ, there's that war in Ukraine. And for those who don't know, because of the unpopular wars that we're racist against that, uh, that nobody knows about, like the shit going down in Yemen is really fucking bad. There's a few wars going on, actually. Look into it, everyone. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's depressing, and it's shitty. Humans killing each other because they work for some fucking madman dickhead who's lost his shit. Yeah. Chips are down, misinformation spreading all over the place, people being very, very fucking stupid, and most of the time it's not their own fault, you know, they're getting fucked over, and they descend into spirals of chaos and madness and just... It's fucked up. This world sucks. What do you want, right? But, you know, in this sea of shit, there's some gems. So, hang in there. Try your best. Um, yeah, guys. Oh, check this out. Uh, this is handy. Get get this device, the Techman uh, Toolkit here. Look at that shit. All kinds of tools. You, If you're like me and you mess with guitars and video game controllers and computer shit and all kinds of wacky crap... Yeah, I recommend getting a set of these. These are badass. They are a small set of uh, screwdriver type tools, Allen wrenches, you know, hex keys, that kind of thing. But they're like Teflon coated and plastic coated and they won't scratch up your, you know, your finishes and whatnot. So pretty badass. And it's only 10 bucks for that bag. So I think you can find it for like six or eight. But yeah, pretty sick. And then check these out, dudes. Fuck yeah, dude. I am really into these adapters. That controller I've been showing you, I can use that controller for basically everything in video games. Yeah. Yeah. Basically all my consoles now can use a 360 controller wired or a uh, Elite Series 2. And these bad boys let me pull it off, dude. There's this one. This works for Nintendo Switch. This lets you play Nintendo Switch with your um, Series 2 Elite controller. This one, I don't know why they made it pink. What the fuck, dude? Does Brooke think that, uh, you know, Sony are, are gay and girly? No, I, I don't know what they're doing over there. I don't know why they don't make it black like the other. This should be the, the big three. Why is this one pink? I don't, I don't get it. But anyway... Uh, yeah, this guy right here is badass. Let's you use a uh, Series Elite 2 controller on your PS4 and also works with the PS3, dude. So that's fucking cool. And then this guy right here will let you use a Series 2 Elite controller on an Xbox Original and an Xbox 360. Yes. And... There's another adapter you can get for an Xbox original because it doesn't have a USB input, you know, so you got a little converter thing. And yes, it works. It, it's great. And then there's this guy right here, which uh, was always just... I had this for a long time. I got this like five years ago. But this lets you use a wired 360 controller on a uh, PS4, which is kind of useless to me now because I just use the Elite Series 2 controllers now. But, but, guess what, dudes? I found out some fucking cool shit, dude. All right, check this out. This motherfucker right here. This Brook uh, adapter, this one right here, it's for your PS2. Check that out. You get this, right? You plug it in your PS2. Then you take this old adapter here, pop it in... Yep, you pop it in there, and then you connect your 360 wired controller, and there you go, motherfuckers. You are playing PS2 with a goddamn Xbox 360 controller, and it works good. And since there's some shooters on PS2 that are badass that you can't really get anywhere else, like uh, Time Splitters, for example, the original, uh, there you go. Perfect. Now you got a better controller. Because honestly, I'm sorry. Uh, unpopular opinion perhaps but i truly believe that sony's controllers suck dick for shooters and i always preferred the uh offset analog 
uh, layout. I always preferred that, and big handle grips. I always preferred that. Sony, they have the two, you know, the two analogs that are close together and like inward, and I always feel like I have to reach uh, to, to get the analog, and that kind of sucks. So, fuck that shit. But that's just me, you know, if that's not you, then fine, cool, whatever. But uh, that's, that's how I feel about it. But anyways, um, yeah, I guess that's all I have to bitch about. Um, I gotta get going here, I gotta go exercise, go take a walk, deal with the tortoises and shit. Um, yeah, shout out to Jimmy. How you doing, Jimmy? Hope you're doing good. I wonder if you're watching the Halo show. <laughs> Yeah, my bro got uh, the Paramount Plus, so I'm just chiming in to check it out. Uh, you know, whatever. Cost me nothing, really, you know. I'm usually in my bro's room watching it with him while I take care of the dart frogs and whatnot. So it's not like I'm losing much investing myself into something that's partially from 343. But whatever, you know. It's a show. I, I'm not too critical about shows and stuff and movies i don't bitch them out too much because at the end of the day uh it's just a few hours out of your life it's just a few bucks out of your life it's not a big fucking deal you know movies and shows but video games are expensive this controller and its setup are like 200 dollars. consoles are like 500 fucking dollars uh, internet connections you got to pay monthly for that shit subscription fees dlc microtransactions accessories upgrades enhancements tvs Holy jumping motherfucking shit. That's expensive. You're talking thousands of dollars in the long run. So I am very critical of video games. <laughs> you know, the shit's not fucking cheap. But like a movie or a show, man, I don't really give a shit. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, shout out to Cara Camperetto. I can't say her name. Jesus Christ. She's the lady playing piano right now, if you can hear uh chrono cross pretty badass speaking of which the chrono cross uh remastery thing came out it's not bad it has some frame rate issues unfortunately and that's lame but square enix kind of sucks ass like that so whatever i heard it's getting patched though so whatever i'm sure it's not a big deal i'm just glad the game's getting attention you know like chrono cross is fucking amazing it's got one of the greatest soundtracks and art styles of any video game of ever. Like, that makes it very special. Please check that out if you haven't. Chrono Cross kicks ass. Um, yeah, uh, Tara Mooney, shout out to her. Yes, uh, her new video about gender was hilarious and whatnot. Uh, sad to say, there are some men who are my age who do not know where a clitoris is on a vagina and it, 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 it's on the top part <laughs> alright not everybody knows these things and it's entirely possible that you learned once and then I don't know you haven't been very smooth with the ladies and you forgot or something <laughs> okay whatever you know not everybody is super educated on sexual education and knows everything and, and I, I get it so you know I thought it was a good video she did and she was nice about it unlike me I'm a fucking dickhead but, yeah, the point is, educate yourselves on sex, you know? Get out there and learn. That's all. Ask questions. Don't be too shy about it, you know? It's, it's already awkward, the subject of sex and nature and stuff. So, you know, just learn. Whatever. No need to be uptight about it. And, uh, yeah, uh, also check out YouTuber Chad Chad. She's fucking hilarious. Her latest video on the alpha male bros is just so fucking funny. Oh, my God. That shit is really fucking funny. <laughs> uh, Intellectual Dark Wave, what is up, bro? Check out the 60s neck I got. Fuck yeah, dude. Badass, right? 60s strat neck. Fucking dope, dude. It's obviously, it's overall the best strat neck. It just is. Um, and, uh, yeah, Ferdy K, what up, bro? You're the man, my favorite guitarist. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna turn this thing into the black, black, it's gonna be all black, the body, like a metal strat body, but the neck will be like a vintage kind of, uh, feel. So it'll be modern to vintage, you know? Fucking awesome. And, uh, I'll make it one day, hopefully this year. <laughs> 
Yeah, and uh, last shout out to Lacey Johnson, the keytar badass. That woman is the video game cover artist equivalent of Prince. She can play and sing. She can play like any instrument and sing really good, you know? And she does video game covers. She's like Prince, I'm telling you. And, uh, yeah. Halo Infinite is still shit. Uh, yeah, they're not they're not delivering on their promises at all. They're making the game more microtransaction friendly. They're introducing some battle royale type shit. It sucks. Halo Infinite is a fucking joke, like I said, and the community is getting tired of it. Shit. And the Halo show, yeah, when it first started, it was apparently pretty popular, but yeah, now hardly anyone's watching it. So, not very great at keeping our attention, unfortunately. 343, man, they suck. What do you want, right? Yeah, and, uh, anyway, uh, I gotta get going. So, yeah, guys, uh, if you're a Nazi, if you're a far-right trash, eat shit, fucking go kill yourself, go die somewhere, you're useless. And, uh, yeah, if you're a decent person, uh, I wish you the best. I hope everything works out great for you. Simple as that. So, yeah, I am done talking, I think, for, for now. I'll see you guys later. Peace.